Far out, look at this. It's a nice little find. It's a nice little find, guys, with this beautiful little spoon. It's a beautiful lot, looks like to be a little sugar spoon of some kind, guys. I just raked that up. And Beautiful, perfect condition. Really happy with that. That's a great find. All right, guys, I'll keep going. I'll get my metal detector out now and see what we can find. So as you can see, guys, that's what I've done. I've just raked out this little section. It's probably about four square meters. So what I'm going to do now, I'll get the metal detector out, see what I can find. Hopefully it'll up something interesting like this beautiful spoon there is something oh there's a nice old a beautiful old glass jar stopper there's thousands of these in here Well guys, I'm heading home now, you know, I shouldn't really be doing this because it's a, a big health um, health risk for me. The uh, last thing I want to do is get the asbestos disease, but I've seen the damage it does. But it's bloody hard not to do it when you're addicted to metal detecting, like I am. And just addicted to finding stuff, it's always great just to find something and bring it home and give it a clean. Uh, upload it on YouTube and see what you guys think but um, you know if only I had a front-end loader or a bobcat um, or what we call in Australia a little dingo um, it'd make it so much easier you know that big pile of dirt back there I'd just dig it all up and smooth it all out um, guaranteed to find heaps of stuff you know heaps of lost stuff coins jewelry all other relics were worth money and it's just great to keep and find. So, but yeah, anyway guys, I'll sign off now. Thanks for watching. Had a pretty good day. Oh, I've only been out here for about an hour. It's always good to get away um, from work after I knock off. It's just look forward to it. So, good exercise too, guys. It keeps my mind um, kind of... <laughs> as you could say stable I um, mean if I'm ever having a bad day and you know stressed out as soon as I start metal detecting or bottle hunting all my worries and everything just disappears I'm focused on something else so it's just good you know I just hate going home after work and turning on the laptop um, yeah but anyway thanks guys I'll sign off now and go home and clean up these little finds and upload this video on YouTube all right guys I'll chat soon and my dogs are getting a bit worried a bit pissed off me being out here for too long good day hello Benjo okay guys uh, Billy is a, uh, a couple of days later um, so I'm just at the moment I'm cleaning this um, old coin. What I use to clean my silver coins with is a soft toothbrush and a bit of bicarbonate soda. So if you're in Australia, I don't know if you can get this in the States, but what I'm using is what's called bicarb soda. Uh, it's a great way to clean silver. Uh, especially silver coins, silver jewellery and so forth. So basically I just go around in a circle 
and just be very patient. It's taken me probably around, um, probably, I don't know, a couple hours to do this. Not two hours straight, but just over a period of about three nights. And it's coming up beautiful. The other side's just about finished. As you can see in part one of the video when I found this coin, it was absolutely covered in rust. This must have been laying on some rusty metal. Uh, a lot of grit and so forth. So I've just about finished. And once I finish, I'll show you the end result. Um, was not a dog tag. I thought it might have been a dog license tag. This silver item is a beautiful 1862 half rupee from India uh, that's um, my oldest coin find to date a uh, bit of a coincidence it's 150 years old this year so I'm very happy about that um, my oldest coin metal detecting find before this one was an 1864 English um, sixpence from memory so I'm very happy with this one um, there's still a little bit of um, corrosion stuck to it but yeah it's just come up like a brand new coin I reckon I'm really happy with it it's a beautiful coin definitely I'd have to add this one to one of my favorite finds say that I found another Dumble Young Roadboard uh, 1920 horse cart number plate bit of a coincidence because if you watched my um, one of my videos or oh, what I uploaded about a week ago I found this other Dumbyong Roadboard number plate dated 1920 and in that video I was saying that oh, I'd love to find another one another double with the same date and just by pure There's coincidence a good chance I, that I might um, list one of these on eBay and just to see how much I'll go for now that I've got a double and there's a few other things I found I'm not too sure I'm not too sure what this is. It looks like I'm thinking it possibly it could have been for um, a pour or for molten metal. Maybe someone can help me out. It doesn't look like there's any um, threads inside it, but I'm thinking that this could have been used for making moulds or something for molten metal. So maybe someone might be able to help me out to identify that. Uh, just to the left of it, just a nice little piece of um, crockery I found. Nothing special, it's still it's just a nice I'm little thinking piece. is like an old um, newspaper um, thing what you used to what they used to do for the advertisements and so forth back in the old days. Um, obviously you can't read the words the way it is, but if you look at this in a mirror, it says comf comfortably yours so could have been used for uh, advertisement for the old um, newspaper presses and just to the left I just found this um, bottom of an old lantern nothing special but I really like this pattern here so I might try and take this little round piece off just here and it look really nice I think polished up and here's another thing here what I found I can't really identify thinking that it could be um, off a port glass or a trophy or something like that when I first found it I thought it might have been the old um, stamps what you do for stamping the back of envelopes and so forth but I don't think that's what it is uh, the usual finds um, clock uh, pieces and so forth and here's that spoon what I found, I can't identify it it has got a hallmark on it uh, I haven't really actually researched the hallmark and I wouldn't know where to start but it's a nice little spoon, thinking it could be a just a little teaspoon or something like that maybe someone can help me identify what it's used for or a baby spoon, not really sure but still a really nice little find but definitely the find of the day would have to be this one. I'm really, really happy with that. Beautiful 1862 silver half rupee from India. My oldest coin to date.